Hey, what's going on, Raider Nation? Welcome to another video for the Black and Silver Way. It is your host, Dylan. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. Rocking all black, Chuck T's on my feet. Need some ladies super thick. Need some ladies somewhere sleek. Super thick cheeks in between them sheets. And I'm a fucking know that I ain't talking about no lease. Chilling on the west side, left side. Bringing out my best side. Let's ride. Day ones to the next life. Give it time. Uh, just a quick announcement real quick guys the last few videos have actually been putting music in the beginning it's actually my homies SB Fleet TV they have a YouTube channel of their own with all the tracks it's all downloadable off SoundCloud all the links are gonna be in the description below when I'm gonna be putting up videos uh, like this one right here was my homie AJ that's like my brother throughout all of high school and he still is my brother to this day uh, he drops a lot of good music a lot of good rap and uh, I just try and get them as much views as possible if you guys want to go subscribe to their YouTube channel the links gonna be in the description below give it a like give it a comment saying that I sent you I'd really appreciate it and I might pick one of you guys randomly if I see you in the comments for a giveaway that'd be really cool if you guys took your time out of the day and subscribe for that and check out their music anyways guys how's it going uh, you know it's been a lot of uh, a lot of news actually been going on finally the signings are starting to happen a few deals have been happening the last couple days so I decided to talk about it this weekend I'm actually gonna be going to Disneyland this weekend I haven't been to Disneyland since I was like nine years old so it's definitely gonna be new and I don't really remember anything in Disneyland and I got some free passes to go to Disneyland so I bought the California Adventure side and it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm gonna go on Sunday all day to Disneyland and then on Monday I'm gonna go to California Adventure and I think I'm gonna go to like medieval times and then I'm gonna go to this concert this band I used to watch is randomly in LA and they're gonna be performing too on Saturday night and I heard from Mikey Raider on Raider Central that they're gonna be doing a Raider signing at 2 o'clock in West LA College Terrell Pryor Rod Streeter and Marquette King but I'm not gonna be able to make it sadly I was gonna try and make it but I really don't have money to buy a mission ticket it's like 50 bucks and another thing on top of that I'm actually not gonna have my own car I'm actually going with a homie of mine so we're not gonna have a car I'm not gonna have a car just to branch off so uh, it's kind of far out of the way too it's about 45 miles still from where I'm gonna be at so I'm actually just gonna skip it out Rod Streeter Marquette King and Terrell Pryor they actually have done like three or four signings this year alone in Oakland so I'm sure that um, I could be able to catch them this year when I'm gonna be a season ticket holder they're gonna be doing a lot of signings this year so I will definitely catch them next time but I definitely wanted to go and grab a picture with them maybe for the channel I would have been wearing my chain because Rod Streeter and Marquette King have reposted like three or four of my picks and I've actually talked to them on Instagram so that'd be cool to meet them tell you know meet them in person and I really like Rod Streeter anyways I can't make it to that guys but definitely check out Raider Central also because we're gonna be doing a Raider Nation talk show it's gonna be me, me KR82 and uh, Raider Central and somebody else I think whoever um, Mikey's you know contacting Mikey actually contacted me a week ago and we're gonna be doing like an all on Skype kind of thing all of us at once all live and it's gonna be me and all the Raider bloggers we're gonna be talking about all the latest updates and how we feel about it it's gonna have like a debate it's gonna be pretty cool uh, Mikey contacted me through email and I have his number now and we're actually been connecting a few times so I think that you could definitely see Mikey Raider gonna be with me on my channel and kind of just doing some collaborations keep things interesting for the Raider Nation so this is actually some random news right here this is the first thing I want to talk about is the Raiders on Wednesday actually tendered six exclusive rights to, to free agents uh, Brandon Ross and Brandon Ross actually subbed in for Tyvon Branch for the year and uh, he was pretty fairly good he had a few good plays but there was a few plays where he got straight burned like during the Eagles game he gave up almost two touchdowns same with the DJ Hayden he gave up like two touchdowns that game but Brandon Ross overall was a good backup and I think that he's a young hungry player and that's exactly Exactly, exactly what Reggie McKenzie wants and there's no reason to dump a young hungry player that we already have and is already adapted to our scheme and go for another cheap one out in free agency market. So Brandon Ross, he's going to stay with us. Cornerback Chimdi Chekwa, he's also going to stay with us. I've always liked Chimdi Chekwa and um, I don't mind that sign. I don't mind that at all. Uh, running back Jeremy Stewart. Jeremy Stewart's nice. I've actually talked to him on Instagram, but I just don't know why uh, he did this one because we have so much strength at the running back position now. We got Corey Sheets. I'm sure we're going to re-sign Rashad Jennings. There's talks that Darren McFadden's going to be back. And now we have 
uh, Latav we still have Latavius Murray, and why would he want to keep Jeremy Stewart as well? I don't really get that signing, but oh well, we're going to let Jeremy Stewart stay? Okay. Uh, Kayleen Burnett, he's actually solid for our special teams, and it's actually Kevin Burnett's brother, so I don't mind that at all. Also, he's very young. He's still got a lot of life left in him, and who knows? He could be a better linebacker in the years to come. Um, offensive lineman uh, Matt McCants definitely needs strength at the offensive line, so definitely a good choice to keep McCants. He's already adapted to our scheme last year. I don't mind that at all. And fullback Jamiz Alawale. I actually like him. He's actually showed a lot of good strengths behind Marcel Reese. I mean, Marcel Reese is the best fullback in the league, in my opinion. But Alawale is definitely nice for the special teams. And when Reese is out, he still fills in and does a great job. He's actually got a lot of speed. And just in case you guys don't know, what exclusive rights means it means that the free agents have no bargaining power and they are tied to the team unless they're not offered a full contract and for what I've heard Jeremy Stewart has had a contract Chimney Chekrow has got a contract and I don't know about the others so far but I'm sure that if they have the exclusive rights to them I'm sure they're gonna send them all one-year contract extensions so the big news, the actual really big news that all of us are relieved about is the Oakland Raiders because about a couple days ago the franchise tagging deadline was up and Lamar Houston and Jared Valdir no franchise tag whatsoever. So that kind of had me a little concerned because I know the whole Lamar Houston thing is really up in the air right now. And it's one of our biggest free agent players that we still have yet to sign. And Jared Valdir, same thing as well. He's the core of that offensive line. Same with Stefan Wisniewski. But uh, Jared Valdir is a very, very big part of that offensive line. And that's something that we really need to sign. And... Um, Finally, uh, last night it was leaked out via Twitter uh, at Chris Hansen NFL. Uh, he told he pretty much tweeted out. Sources tell me that the Raiders, uh, Jared Vel uh, Raiders and Jared Valdir have agreed to a five-year deal with a six-year option, twenty-three million guaranteed, total value of fifty-five million dollars. And then actually a few uh, minutes after that, he retweeted and said, let me reiterate that the deal has not been yet signed, but could be in wrinkles to have a few wrinkles to iron out. So Jared Valdir and the Oakland Raiders will definitely work something out. Reggie McKenzie and Mark Davis and Dennis Allen all know that Jared Valdir needs to be a Raider and will be a Raider. So I'm sure that they just have a few things to talk about on the contract, just a few things to finalize. And Jared Valdir, I can guarantee it by this Monday, we'll have a picture on the Raiders. Instagram signing that contract so that's definitely a good sign and I'm very glad that they didn't let Jared Valdir walk out but I had no concern I knew that they were gonna definitely keep Jared Valdir and uh, still up in the air right now is Lamar Houston guy Lamar Houston I don't know if they're gonna actually re-sign him I've heard a lot of bad things recently from a lot of NFL analysts saying that they have a feeling that Reggie McKenzie is gonna let him walk the only reason why they're gonna let he's gonna let him walk is he did not produce and a lot of you guys in the comments below were telling me oh he didn't have a defensive line to help him produce it doesn't matter guys um, you know he should have he should have played hard he should have produced more than what he did this year and it really sucks and I would I really would give Lamar Houston another chance because I know that he definitely is an energetic player and he he could be a beast and I don't want him to see him on another team and hopefully that he could be a Raider for life and I'm hoping they can it, it, you know what the Raiders will re-sign Lamar Houston but this is what it comes down to guys it comes down to if Lamar Houston want to drops that price because right now he's wanting a top three defensive lineman price in the NFL for what for what, Raider Nation? Why are we going to overpay another player that's barely producing? That barely produced in the last two years. So you definitely, definitely need to sit down and really think smart about how we're really going to spend all this money, guys. And if he doesn't want to drop the price, then obviously he doesn't want to be a Raider, guys. So if Lamar Houston wants to drop that price, I know that the Raiders were going to re-sign him. I know they will offer him something. But I think that right now it's Lamar Houston just saying you know what I'm not willing to take a pay cut I'm not willing to do that if he's not guys let someone else pick him up and that's all I have to say about that situation that's gonna be it for this video Raider Nation thanks for watching as always make sure to like it and comment below let me know what you guys think about the video let me know about all the exclusive right free agents that we have now and the Jared Valdir signing and the whole situation with Lamar Houston let me know your input Raider Nation and as always have a great day guys and I'll see you next time peace out